Hi there guys, welcome back to the Renbury Site YouTube channel. Harvey here, of course, and it's an emergency video. It's a quick video here today because we have just seen, just been released, I've just seen it, the new Crystal Palace home kit for next season, the 24-25 seasons kit. And I've got mixed feelings. I personally really like the design. I think the design looks really good. It's unique. I love that we do something different with the stripes each year now. It's not boring, just same stripes each time. There's... That's the upside to having stripes and obviously red and blue. You can create different um, patterns. You can create different ideas. It's not just a boring, like Tottenham, I think, have struggled to create really like dynamic home kits over the years because of their just plain white with the navy trim. We're Palace with the stripes. We were able to create something different. And with our history as well, with like the sash um, and also having the half and half colour as well, um, half red, half blue, which we had last season, of course. There, there's loads of ways we can make up new kits, and I really like what they've done with the design on this one. They've used the red and blue stripes. It's almost like a paint splatter effect for the stripes, and inside the stripes, the red and blue stripes, is like almost a collage of the eagle on the crest, um, like layered over um, in, in a pattern, and it actually looks really nice. From a distance as well, it almost looked... When I first saw it, especially in the blue stripes, I thought it was almost like an ice effect, you know, like a snowflake effect, if you like. It's sort of like crystallized. Um, and it's only when you look in detail, you can actually see it's actually the eagle wings and the pattern from the from the crest that is creating that sort of effect. And I think it looks great. The, the collar, as you can see on it, has a trim. Uh, it's like a red, a blue and white um, little um, stripe going around the edge. It's blue collar. Um, not a full collar, it's like a, just a, a little raised slightly and it's got a little V, a V neck uh, on the front, um, which is really nice. It's it's almost giving that illusion of a, a full on collar without really being a collared shirt. I'd really like that. And it's got the 1924 Selhurst on the back of the neck as well paying homage to of course it's going to be 100 years at Sellers Park at the start of next season so and the whole promotional video around the new kit was showing that you've got to watch it as well all about the new era talking about the history of Selhurst and then all the young players Elise, Eze, Gehi, Walton all like involved in the promotional video for the new strip talking about it's a new era I'd love for that to be the case and for all of those players in that video to still be at the club come the start of the season Fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a long summer, okay, regarding players staying and going. But let's hope they stay. But back to the home kit. I, I really like that. Downside, we're back to blue shorts, blue socks. It's been over... So well, how long has it been now? I think the last time we had red shorts, red socks was 2008, something like that. I really want to go back to dominant red rather than, for people who know the channel for a long time now, I really like the the, the majority red palace shirts and, and shorts and socks. Um, the blue's been good, but I'm just getting a bit bored of it. I'd love for there to be like red shorts and blue socks or to just change it up a bit, you know, in the bottom half of the kit. Um, but we're back to blue shorts with, again, the blue shorts... I'm not a massive fan of how they look because uh, they've used the same pattern with having that collage of the eagle crest on it. But it's I think it's a little bit too much for the shorts. There is a nice like red triangular strip down the side, giving a nice little mix uh, from the blue, giving a nice little contrast, shall I say, with some red down the side, um, which does look nice. I like that. But I think it's a little bit overboard having the pattern all, over, all around the blue shorts. Um, coating the blue shorts. I know what they're doing. They're trying to keep the continue continuing the pattern throughout the kit. The um, but the socks are just blue socks um, with a with a, like a ring hoop or with the red and white um, stripes on there as well. So I kind of think they could have maybe done the, the, that pattern on the shorts but not coated it completely. That would have been quite nice. I think it's a little bit too much for the shorts in my opinion. But the main thing for me is the sponsor. And it came out yesterday or the, a couple of days ago actually that Net88 will be the sponsor for Crystal Palace, the main shirt sponsor. And they are a betting company and it's really disappointing that we've done that. I think the cinch sponsor over the last couple of years has looked really nice on the shirt. And it's quite refreshing to be one of the few clubs in the Premier League that have moved away from just going for the money and going for the sponsor, the, the betting company sponsor on the shirt. Especially because it's like an unknown company from from asia or wherever they're at i know that they're social media following i mean we've got i've got we've got more followers on the red and blue side channel than they do on their social media platform so why we're getting involved with a company like that i don't know it, it the, the actual wording and the color works but knowing the sponsor knowing the history of it and knowing what it represents it, it, it's a bit tacky in my opinion if it was cinch on there instead, I think it would have been a really nice kit. And I think, as I said, it'd only really be the shorts that would have bugged me. Um, but the sponsor is a real letdown. I'm a bit disappointed that we've changed up to something like that to go on the front of the shirt. Because it's it's quite bold, stands out on there. And as I said, if it was a different meaning behind it, if it had slightly different 
you know, if it looked a little bit different as well, it wouldn't have been as big a deal. But it's very bold, very in your face. And the, the 88 on the end as well, it just, it just screams, you know, if people don't know it, it screams betting company. And it just it's just a bit tacky um, for what we've been used to over the last couple of years. And, you know, in a couple of years, that will be banned and you know betting companies won't be on the shirt anymore but it's a shame that we've reverted back to it so that is a massive down for me on that but overall the actual design of the kit the little details like i said the the selhurst reference on the back of the shirt the, the the whole promotion video that i think it's a very nice kit and i love that we do something different with the the stripes each year now we're quite boldly different they're, they're almost drastically different each season i really like that i like that when you're paying upwards of 50 60 quid for a shirt it's something different each season and it's not a replica of last season with a little bit of, uh, you know, a little few details changed here and there. It's a bold new design and I really like it. And hopefully the whole slogan over the new shirt being it's a new era, hopefully with Glasner, hopefully with the way we're playing, we can see that next season. Um, but guys, let me know your thoughts down below. The new home shirt is out. Give me your rating out of 10. For me, I'd say it's a 7 out of 10. And as I said, the little de the, the sponsor detail lets it down a bit. Um and the shorts as well for me. I would have liked the pattern to be less glaring and in your face on the shorts. But overall, 7 out of 10, I think it's a nice kit for sure. I will be getting it next season as well. Um, I've got no problems with designing the pattern. It's just that sponsor for me. But let me know your thoughts. More videos to come. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, comment, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one.